Hello and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. So what have I got going today? Well, we're going to be pulling that power steering box out and putting a brand new one in. That power steering box right there has got to go. And what better time to do it than while the engine is out. You're going to have to see my other videos to figure out what's going on here. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on that power steering box. And I've already gotten in here and lubed everything up pretty well. Got all the bolts there and there. Those flange bolts. That bolt, everything down there is all pre-soaked with PB Blaster. Now let's start loosening everything up and pull this box out. Now what we're going to try to do is get this nut right here removed first. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be using a 34 millimeter socket because it's the only thing I got that will fit on it. It's probably one and three eighths or something like that, but I don't have that. Well, that's not too bad. This car did originally come from Florida. It's been in my possession up here in the Northeast for about 10 years. Of those 10 years, it's been driven one winter. And all of this scale is all from one winter. Let's get a power tool on this. There we go. Now we've got to go get the press to pull this thing off. All right, now we've got the nut off. We've got the tool to press the pitman arm off the steering box. And it's a 19 millimeter. Let's see if this thing's got the nuts. This certainly does though. And the shaft is indexed. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to get it straight when you put it back on. It'll only fit one way. Oops, wrong direction. Now, probably should have undone this, make myself room, but we're going to lift the steering box up and out anyway, so. I'll just remember to put the pitman arm in as we're settling the box down in. Now let's get these side bolts out that hold it, or at least all but one of them. These 19s right here. Make sure all of these are loose. This one here might fit. Give me my socket. the 
last couple of threads in here for now just to keep it from falling out we're going to go up top disconnect the two lines and the remove the death bolt from the steering column want to turn with the nuts that's not good right, that uh oh well, that one just broke so we'll need to replace that power steering line yay god dang it oh. get you out of here all together suppose I don't have to worry too much about that one now I'm gonna break off too of course it is of course it is. Oh well. Not like I can't fabricate the lines. After we get the gearbox out of here, now let's get that one loosened up. Now let's get that one out of there. It's a 13. Set this on the side for now. Let's see if we can get this shaft. Oh, how do you like that? It moves. It actually freaking moves. Actually freaking moves. How do you like that? And that's keyed right there on the bottom. And this is keyed as well. So it's a one direction only again. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That universal's a little stiff. Whoa! That needs to be replaced as well. Maybe that's what the steering problem was all along. Huh. Uh, more intermediate parts. Okay, more stuff to delay putting the engine back in. Either way, back to project at hand. Get this steering box out of here. Let's get this last bolt the rest of the way out. got enough to lift this thing up and out of here now. Let's go ahead and pull it out. This spot all cleaned up. Let's get in here. Spray it down with some fluid film. And hopefully, it'll at least slow down some of the rust. And spray everything that you see that's got rust, yuck. I spray the whole car really. Yeah, but all right, let's go put that power screw box in. I think that's gonna be one of my next brake jobs.
All right, now let's put a little white mark where this thing is indexed so I can tell from above. Right there's the index. All right, now let's take this brand new steering box. Let's set this down in here, line that mark right up. In it goes. Now, I figure out how I'm gonna get these bolts started here. That bolt's in and started. Let's get those bottom bolts started. Apparently I disturbed something because transmission fluid or power steering fluid dripping all over me at the moment. Snug goes down now. And the thing that we just found out about this potential disaster area right here. Loosen this one up for when we replace it in the future. Well, this I should go right in here. Flat there, flat there. Flat. Yeah, it's gotta go right there. know it's right and it still don't go get a hammer until that bolt drops in.
great. Get that bolt down there. Bolt is tight. Now starting back where it was. And start getting everything tightened back up again. I got a brand new nut. And let's see what else we need. Brand new nut, an old washer. I don't understand, but we're gonna use the old bolt or the new bolt and the new nut, old washer. And we're gonna get this piece up on here. Assuming I got the right indent. Yep, I'm lined up on the index. Let's go tighten that down. Now we got the nut or the washer back on there. Go ahead and start tightening it down. Now we're going to take this rod right here, pull the rod out, push it down. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to unfasten this from up inside the car. Now we're going to take these two screws right here out. They're already loosened up. And another one over here. And then we're going to take this bolt right here out. I've already loosened this one up also. Slide the shaft down and out of the steering column right here. 
I think. There we go. And now we can lift this whole assembly. All right, up and out. Both of these parts, the new one and the old one, we're going to do some comparisons here. Make sure that everything is compatible, that uh, everything will work. Okay, so it stretches out. Get about the same length. See, uh, this can be shortened up. Okay, so it looks like we're good. Uh, see, slip this way, bolt that way, bolt that way. That puts the cutaways in the same spots. So let's go ahead and take this new one and we'll put the new one in. Now I'm going to take the new one. We're going to put this end in first. Wait a minute, no, that's backwards. And this end in first. And just slide that down. Get that on those two studs. And we'll put the two nuts on. Now I'm gonna take the top here. Steering wheel still straight. There's the right. Together. Yes. Okay, now we can put the pinch bolt back up in it. And of course, we're going to have to tighten all this stuff back down when we're done. Right, let's get back outside and see what's going on. Reach down in here, grab a hold of this, and pull this down, pull this one up. And try to get these two together. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Oh yes, we can. And we'll go find that bolt that goes in there. The old bolt's still in this one. A little bit rusty, a little rust tight. That'll help hold it, light, lock it in place. Now let's we'll see if this fits in here. Oh, this is such a tight squeeze. That's a thread. Yes, it does. Okay, so we'll run that one all the way down in and get everything tightened up. back and torque that afterwards. Let's get back inside, get those tight. Now let's see what we can get accomplished in here. This car is such a mess right now. Let's see, that's 13. I don't want 13, do I? That's 12, okay. I think that's an 11, but I don't have an 11 deep well. And this does work, so let's get that tightened down.
final torque. And now all we got to do is undo the seat belt, which we did to uh, prevent accidental rotation of the steering wheel. Goes all the way back up. Take care of the play that's going on down at the other end. But that's nice. Feels nice and smooth so far. Well, let's get wrapping up that engine. Well, it's a little snippet of putting the power steering box, the new one, into the, the Crown Victoria. Uh, if you guys are interested in how I came to be where the engine is not in the car, there's going to be videos trickling out here and there as to how I ended up in this situation to begin with. So if you guys like this one, feel this was entertaining, helpful in any way, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. Tripping power steering fluid all over the place now. Now what moved? Seriously? That's all because of that. Come on! And don't rip for and so if you guys like this one, feel this one helpful entertaining whatever the case may be and just remember you've got no more excuses pick up those wrenches really you're gonna go out of focus